In this tutorial, you learn how to model a hinged box with lid using FreeCAD 1.0.1 and the Part Design Workbench. After you created a new document, make the Part Design Workbench active and create a sketch with this button. Click on the XY plane. This is the face where you will be sketching on. Go to the Rectangle tool and click on the small arrow on the right. Then select Centered Rectangle. Click on the origin to start sketching there. Drag the mouse to preview the rectangle. Enter 60mm for the horizontal distance. Press tab and enter 35mm for the vertical distance. Press enter to apply. The sketch is fully constrained, fixed. Now, click close to exit the sketch. Select the pad feature to extrude the sketch and create a solid shape. Check reversed to extrude it to the downside. The shape will be placed below the sketch plane now. Enter an extrusion distance of 20 mm and click OK. Hold Control, select these four edges and also the bottom face. Then select the fillet tool here. Enter a 5 mm fillet radius and click OK to apply. Now click on the top face and select the Thickness tool. Leave all settings, but enter a thickness of 1.5 mm. That will be the wall thickness of the box. Click on OK to apply. Now create a second sketch. With these buttons, you can quickly change orientation and fit your object on the screen. Select the YZ plane to start sketching the hinge part of the box. Go to the rectangle tool and click on the small arrow on the right. Then select rectangle. Draw the shape on the right side of the box like this. Enter five millimeter for the horizontal distance. Press tab and enter 8mm for the vertical distance. Press enter to apply. Now select the dimension tool. Click on the upper left vertex and drag the mouse. Click again and enter 17.5mm, press enter to apply. The left side is now aligned with the box. Click on the upper left vertex again and drag the mouse to the left. Click again and enter 5mm, press enter to apply. Select the circle tool for creating the hole of the hinge. Draw it inside the rectangle, enter a diameter of three millimeter and press enter to apply. Select the dimension tool. Click on the center of the circle and then on the upper right vertex. Enter 2.5 millimeter and press enter to apply. Click on the center of the circle and then on the upper right vertex again. Drag the mouse to the right, enter 2.5 millimeter, and press enter to apply. The circle, hole, is now aligned in the center of the hinge. The sketch is fully constrained. Click close to exit the sketch. Select the pad feature to extrude the hinge sketch and create a solid shape. Check symmetric to plane to extrude it in two directions. Leave the distance to 10 mm and click OK to apply. Now click on these three edges while holding Control. Then select the Fillet tool here in the Tasks menu. Enter a 2.49 mm fillet radius. The width is 5 mm, but a radius of 2.5 mm results in an error. That's why a fillet radius of 2.49 mm is used here. Click OK to apply. The box part has been finished. Click this button to create another body. This new body will contain the lid. Select the first body, press F2 and name it Box. Now select the second body, press F2 and name it Lid. Click the eye icon next to the first body to hide it. 
Make sure the lid body is active. Create a sketch inside this new body. Select the XY plane to start sketching the lid. With the eye icon next to the first body, you can toggle visibility. Go to the Rectangle tool and select Centered Rectangle. Click on the origin to start sketching there. Enter 60mm for the horizontal distance. Press Tab and enter 35mm for the vertical distance. Press Enter to apply. This is the same shape as the box. Click Close to exit the sketch. Select the Pad feature to extrude the sketch and create a solid shape. Leave the distance to 10mm and click OK to apply. With the eye icon next to the first body, you can check if the orientation of the lid is right. Hold Ctrl, select these four edges and also the top face. Then select the Fillet tool. Enter a 5mm fillet radius and click OK to apply. Now click on the bottom face and select the Thickness tool. Leave all settings, but enter a thickness of 1.5 millimeter. Click on OK to apply. Consider subscribing if you like my content. Thanks. Now create a second sketch for the hinge part. Select the YZ plane to start sketching there. Click the eye icon next to the first body to show the box. The hinge part will be sketched on this position to correspond with the hinge of the box. Click the eye icon next to the first body again to hide the box. Select the Centered Rectangle tool which is still selected. When you started wrong, click right mouse button to cancel it. Draw the shape on the right side of the box like this. Enter 5mm for the horizontal distance. Press tab and also enter 5mm for the vertical distance. Click right mouse button to exit the rectangle tool. Now select the dimension tool. Click on the upper left vertex and drag the mouse to the upside. Click again and enter 17.5 millimeter. Press enter to apply. The left side is now aligned with the box. Cancel the dimension tool and move the sketch. Click on the lower right vertex and the horizontal axis. Use the coincident constraint tool to fix the vertex on the axis. The rectangle is completely fixed now. Select the circle tool for creating the hole of the hinge. Draw it on the center of the rectangle. Enter a diameter of 3 mm. The sketch is fully constrained. Click Close to exit the sketch. Click the eye icon next to the first body to show the box. Select the sketch and choose the pad feature to extrude the hinge sketch. Enter a distance of 5 mm and click OK to apply. Click the eye icon next to the first body to hide the box again. Now click on these two edges while holding Control. Then select the Fillet tool. Enter a 2.49 mm fillet radius. Click OK to apply. The first part of the hinge has been finished. Click the eye icon next to the first body to show the box. Select the pad and the fillet in the tree. Hold Control. The conflicting position will be fixed later. Then select the Linear Pattern tool. Choose Select Reference for the direction and select this axis. Enter an overall length of 15 mm. Also check the reverse direction box to swap the pattern to the other side. Click OK to apply the pattern of these two features. The first item of the pattern should be moved to the right position. Expand that pad feature by clicking the small arrow and select the sketch of that part. Expand both attachment offset and position. Enter 5mm for the z-axis. Now the hinge of the lid is positioned correctly. The hinged box with lid model has been finished. You can easily toggle visibility by clicking these eye icons.
you might want to check out my 3D printing channel for more tutorials and projects.